Tooth banding is a slang term used by those in the orthodontic field to refer to the placing of metal bands on the teeth, usually on the molars. Here you see a plaster model with such bands. The actual bracket is welded to the bands. At a later point in time, a wire will be incorporated into the brackets. These bands have a much greater tensile strength and can tolerate far greater forces than classic brackets, which is the only reason doctors sometimes use bands instead of classic brackets. Why are greater forces an issue? In the image, you see a headgear device. The force of the springs built into the mask would be too great for the brackets. Thus, the force is simply transferred to the bands. In most cases, so-called separators are placed between teeth a week prior to banding. That way, the bands can be painlessly placed on the teeth. In the first step, the appropriate band is selected for the matching tooth by a process of trial and error. This is important so that no unnecessary gaps develop between the teeth. The appropriate metal band is filled with cement and lightly pressed onto the tooth. With special instruments and great care, the band is eventually moved to its final position, where it will stay throughout the entire treatment period. The risks related to tooth banding are usually relatively small. However, complications can develop in individual cases, and these may require additional measures. Each additional measure can, in turn, lead to further complications, which may even result in the loss of a tooth during the course of treatment. At this point in our discussion, we will only deal with the specific complications associated with tooth banding. These include, for example, caries, which can result from a poorly cemented band, damage to neighboring teeth, or periodontal damage due to improper cementing.